Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so I have a little bit of a different video tonight. I have Christy with the Thrift Attic, or Christy, Hello. yeah, YouTube channel Thrift Attic. Mm -hmm. um, we have been sitting here chit chatting for, I don't know, like two, three hours, and it's like 1 a.m. So I'm like, I already have on my sleepy face. But anyway, um, we're going to talk about some bolos, some items to be on the lookout for. And I typically do this, you know, a little differently, but I thought I would bring her in, introduce her to you guys. So you guys can all go subscribe. <laughs> I'm not good at this. Subscribe. I can't do it. Anyway. anyway. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> go subscribe to her too. <laughs> and I will link it down in the description of the video. Um, so we're going to talk about some of her bolo items. And I'm going to show you her channel and she's going to tell you about herself real quick. And then we're going to move right into the items to be on the lookout for. Okay. All okay. right. Christy. Okay. Um, well, like she said, I'm Christy and my channel, YouTube channel is Thrift Addict. Um, and I just mainly have reseller related content. I just show thrift hauls and what's old videos and, you know, a few things, shop with me videos here and there. And it's just something fun that I like to do because I like sharing it with other like-minded people. So that's kind of why I got started with it. And how long have you been reselling? Um, Almost three years on, started on eBay. So almost three years there and started Poshmark last May. So not quite okay. a year on that one. I'm trying to think. I, well, I've been on eBay since 05 and I think I've been on Poshmark. I think I'm at about two years. So yeah, it yeah. goes fast. It does. So I will tell you, I am loving Mercari. I think you should definitely try it. I mean, you've kind of convinced me. So I might... I, I've only kept it to two because branching out to something else kind of scares me. I know. And I looked into doing kittizen. I think that's how you say it because I have children's clothes. Um, but I haven't, I, I created an account, but I haven't started it. So maybe I'll try my car instead. It was just I see. started a grailed account and then I'm like, nope, not doing it. I've already got like Mercari, Poshmark, Etsy, eBay, like <laughs> no more. I can't do it anymore. So. Well, I always sold the kids clothes on Facebook group pages and you say, you know, cause you're only paying the percentage of the um, PayPal fee. So it's been easier, but I haven't done that in a while. And so I, I don't know, I might branch out, but we'll see. All I'll right. be in the Mercari. <laughs> Mercari for sure. 10% freeze. Ah, no, no sharing. Ah, yeah. No returns. Oh my That's God. And they're advertising a lot. So they are advertising like crazy on the YouTube channels. Yes, they are. I'll click on some Poshmark related YouTube video and there's a Macari ad before. <laughs> Every reseller video I've been going to lately. Yes. Macari. Yep. Like, so yeah, they're campaigning big time. Yep. And it's, so. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's working. I know that sales have picked up, but. I bet more people are getting on there and selling because everybody's, you know, at home cleaning out their closets too. <laughs> so. Now, one thing you do have to have, I feel like on Mercari is some feedback before you start getting that momentum. Mm, so, yeah. Makes sense. With some like cheap stuff to start, you know, just to kind of get the ball moving. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. And I, I do really well with toys on Mercari. I feel on toys on eBay. I do, you know, when I find them good. Yeah. So. All right, here we go. Let's talk okay. about the first item. Okay. Go ahead and tell us about this dress. Okay, I picked up this dress at um, a little local thrift shop and it was only $3. I knew what it was because I'd picked one up back in April in another little thrift shop for $3. Um, so I snatched it up. It's Martha's Miniatures and it's a vintage um they call it We're Fussy, I think is what it is. Yep. And they're very popular. Um, and it sold for $168. Um, that was an offer. I had I listed it and it immediately got attention and I started getting offers rolling in like right away. I think I even shared it on Instagram that I had like four offers right off the bat. Yeah. And I kind of rode that out. And the next morning I woke up and I had like, I don't know, 10 offers. And then I started countering at that point and someone sent me the 168. I think I had it listed for 195. So, and it's hard to not take 
$165 when you have $3 <laughs> invested in it. Yes. But I do have a Bolo category video on toddler dresses. Uh -huh. I should I definitely it. go check it out if you haven't watched it. But one thing you want to do, and you can see here, Christy did this in uh, this picture, is see how she has it fanned into a circle. Mm -hmm. That is what you want to do. If you find one of these dresses, you definitely want to have a picture that looks like this because that will help get you top dollar yeah. for your item. So, and I think right. the two I've sold went to uh, China. Both oh, of. really? Mm hmm. So, so you've yeah. sold another same brand? Mm hmm. It was a, I sold it for $225 back in April or oh, May. Awesome. And it was frillier and in better condition. And, um, this one is in, was in good condition too, but um, the other one was like pristine for its age. And yeah, it sold within the hour. I like was going to bed and all of a sudden it sold. <laughs> so it says dress one. Is that like a one-year-old? Yeah, it's a one T is what it says in the tag. One T. I've never heard of a one T. Well, I think that's what it said. No, it says um, one year. Yeah, it says one year. One year. It well, says YR, I think. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, I, it was different because normally you see 12 months, but that. Well, it says T1YR. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. But... Tell us about this. Okay. So St. John, I only ever picked up shoes. I've never found St. John. This was vintage and I found it in a really tiny thrift shop. Um, it had a lot of condition issues. It does have a lot of condition issues. Yeah. Yeah. And I found two um, St. John pieces, the the suit and a dress that I still have listed. But um, this I, ha I listed it kind of high because I, I honestly couldn't find anything really related that was similar. I've seen suits and they sold pretty high. So I listed it for like, I don't know. I can't remember what it said, but um, I took someone sent me the offer and I had just watched someone's video saying that they had sat on a vintage St. John suit for so long that I didn't want to be that person. Yeah. <laughs> so I chose for the quick sell rather than the long tail sell. Um, so I, I thought about it like overnight, I think. And then I accepted your offer because I only paid $5. They had, they had it listed. What for was the offer? Did I miss that? It was $80. I'm sorry. It's I don't know. So good. I mean, look, it's got this. I know thing. it had little spots here and there and a, a chipped button and um, holes from, you know, that knit gets holes really. Yeah. But I know. And I thought, you know what, with the condition and 80s, fantastic. Yep. I think I'm trying to get a look at the tag. I want to see what it. OK, there we go. That's. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen that brand. I mean, I've heard of it, but I don't think yeah. I've ever seen a vintage. Well, I know that the. I've heard about the newer, like the newer styles that sell really well. So I had no idea if this was going to do well, but $5. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I think 80s fantastic. Okay. Tori Birch is for sure a bolo. Tell us about these. Yes. Um, was at a big thrift store in Dallas because I was down there for something. And so I stopped by and I found these and I think that I paid yeah, six ninety eight. <laughs> it's what they had them listed for, and I was like, "Are you kidding?" So I picked them up, and um, they sold for full price of eighty five dollars. So. Yeah, that, that's those are fantastic. Now, do you see the logo or the branding that's on the bottom? Have mm -hmm. you seen the shoes where they're like flip flops, but they have that logo in like on the where it tees, kind of? Have you yeah. seen those? On the, on the top. Yeah. I, I think that's the most popular style. Yes. Those are the ones. I, I, like. I almost didn't know that those were Tory Burch when I glanced. And then right. I, I pick everything up though and look at everything. Yeah, but if they have that circle that's yeah. like metal on the top, yeah. those are definitely a big, I mean, I think they go for over a hundred easy. Same yeah. Way. But yeah, Tory Burch is definitely a good uh, brand to pick up. All right. I've never heard of this brand. Tell us about this. Okay. Um, I looked up how to pronounce it because I pronounced it wrong in my thrift haul video. Um, Terry Rabotin is how you say it. Okay. <laughs> um, but, uh, and the thing is, I've seen this or heard of this before. I'm not sure where, but I just thought that they were interesting. You know, when you go to the thrift shop enough, when you come across something unique, you know, because you're right. not 
something that you always see. So I looked it up and saw that they sold um, for pretty high. Now I did take an offer. I went back and forth with someone over these. She really wanted them. So I finally gave in to uh, $45, but we went back and forth for a while. Um, but some of them have sold for more. So I could have probably held out for a little more, but I think it's just a comfort shoe. They're made in Italy. What, what was the price you took on them? 45. Okay. Best awesome. Um, yeah. I've never heard of that brand. So, I mean, yeah, that's I don't how I learn is by her. seeing what other people are selling, you know, and then yeah. I hope that most of it sticks when I go out thrifting. Right. This is super cute. Tell us about this. Yes. I found that in a, another thrift store like near Dallas. Um, actually it was a Goodwill. I paid either three or $4 um, for it. Their purses are marked for that. And um, I just thought it was cute. And then I noticed it was Sam Edelman and I actually carried it for a little while before I decided to sew it. I like the fringe. I think it's I do too. And it was really cute, but it's small. It's too small. I have to have a mom purse, like a big bag. So. Yeah. I decided to sell it and I was actually kind of surprised it sold for full asking price, but it's awesome. super cute. So yeah, 65 yeah, great. for a used purse. I know. Awesome. So, all right. How about these? Okay. Those little tiny thrift shop locally. Um, I just knew that they were old. I couldn't find any information on them um, other than they looked seventies to me. So um, I kind of put that in the listing they, I paid $3 for them, I think. So they're vintage Levi's white tab jeans, women's size 18, high, high waist yes. and wide leg from the 70s. I put so, so they I are a size 18, but because these are vintage, I mean, you can see the waist is only what, 30 inches? Yeah, I can't see from so, that. So, um, yeah, that's what it says. Way smaller. So, I, yeah. Any vintage stuff I get, people are always really curious about the measurements. So I make sure to have that on the listing. But uh, they they sold for 40. That was another thing with vintage. Sometimes when you get an offer, I kind of give in because <laughs> it they're, they take longer to sell. So, Well, I think also as far as best offer goes, you know what you have in the item. It doesn't hurt to price your items a little high. That way you have that negotiating room, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I was And I had earlier, nothing like, to I, go by. My I, I guessed at the price because I couldn't find anything close yeah. to what I had, so. Yeah. I mean, I take offers on almost all my items, so it's hard not to. Yeah. Okay, tell us about this. Okay, so this is just um, actually didn't get this that long ago before everything shut down. I found this for two dollars at my local Goodwill, and um, I just happened to scan it on eBay and saw that a lot of them had sold like between fifty to sixty dollars. So it's uh, from two thousand one. Is that what it says? Yeah, two thousand one. Yep. It's Barbie's baby sister. Uh, and it says. Chrissy, baby sister of Barbie, swing and yeah. play set by Mattel. And I think the now, bathtub one goes for more money. The one with the baby bath in the baby bathtub. A bathtub. Okay. Yeah. Well, this I think would be a good Mercari item. Oh, really? Yeah. Vintage stuff on there too. Vintage yeah. toys. Cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I'm, uh, I'm super cool. excited about Mercari right now. It's been really good. I to know. Me. You have been talking about that. I, it's, it's so good. good. Okay. Now, is this the one you said was yours? Yes. That is so cool. My like first baby doll. <laughs> is it hard to get rid of? Nah, kind of because I don't know. I don't really display the things that I, my mom kept everything. So I come by my hoarding nature, like <laughs> honestly, but I have, um, my daughter's not interested in it. Honestly, I didn't want to like give it to her to play with because I was scared she was going to mess it up. And I felt like a collector needed it and not me because I don't display it. So I kind of just, I've had it and finally just decided to like, see what happens. <laughs> Cause so I saw vintage Fisher price, my baby Beth doll from 1977. Yeah. That shows my age too. So, so what did you sell it for? <laughs> um, a full asking prices of say 44, 44, 45, 45. Yep. Mm -hmm. plus shipping. 
Yeah. And if I've seen some sold and people still have them in the box and those go for really good. Amount. Oh yeah. If they're new in the box, I mean, that's new old stocks the way, I mean, yeah. that's where you're going to get top dollar. Yeah. All right. This free people dress. Yes. Okay, I came across that at my local thrift store. It was $8 and I actually picked it up, put it back, walked around the store, went back, picked up again. I couldn't decide because I was like, I don't know about this because I knew it was going to be hard to photograph as you can see it was. Yeah. <laughs> and um, and I know a lot of people have said free people just doesn't sell. And I couldn't, I did a quick search and comps and didn't find anything. So I almost put it back but because I had enough to list at home already, but I decided to go ahead and pick it up and I got home and kind of did a little research and found the style name. Yeah. And when I found the style name. I searched on Poshmark and saw that there were only, there was none listed and only a few solds and the solds were really high. Wow. So when I finally got around to listing it, cause like I said, it was so hard to photograph. I avoided it for a yes, while. I do that too. I, um, went to search comps again to kind of like see um, where I should list it. Cause it had been a while since I'd looked it up and I actually found an in search of post for this exact size dress. Oh, really? I did. And so I commented on her post and I said, I have this dress. Are and you I kidding? Like, so you were looking on Poshmark for comps and I saw her, I just was searching it to oh, remember. That is awesome. And found her in search of posts in the exact size. It was like fate. So I just, I told her I have it and I'm, a, I'm literally about to list this dress. And I, it was kind of late at night, I think. So she didn't see it till the next day. Um, I listed it for 110 and she sent, she messaged me and she said, would you take, you know, an offer of 90? And I said, yes, I will. She wanted to wear it. She was actually wanting it for like a wedding that month. So it was like fate. It was awesome. Wow, that's so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't talk about the story beforehand. So I'm just hearing this with you guys. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So it's a free people silver spun crochet dress or yeah. dreams dress. So that I don't tag is different. I have not found that again. The sil the spun, the free people spun. Yeah. Okay. I've seen that. that again since then. So I I don't rare so. kind of free people. Like I don't have quick sales with it. Yeah, I don't either. But that one, you know, yeah, you I got lucky on that one. That's I, did. Awesome. I did. She knew what she wanted and you had it. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Tell us about these. I've never heard of this brand either. I had neither. Um, and I was in a Goodwill in Tulsa, Oklahoma, <laughs> just happened to be up there for a dance competition for my daughter. And they were closing in 30 minutes. And I said, I want to look at the shoes. So we stopped in. They were having a shoe sale that day. <laughs> Lucky me. And they just looked unique. And I could tell that the leather was good quality. And they said made in Turkey. And so I did a quick search and I found out on, I think I looked on eBay because I figured this looks like an eBay item to me, which is funny. They sold on Poshmark. Yeah. Hey, but, um, this was actually a bundle sale. So the bundle, which she had some some anthropology pants. Um, uh, so I gave her the bundle for 90. So the listings, though, on eBay, if you ever find them, they're still very good in anywhere between 60 to 90, depending on like color and style. So they're a good pickup. Saba. Yeah, S-A-B-A-H is how you spell it. A turkey. And I zoomed in on the pictures, but yeah, Saba. Never heard of it. Made in Turkey. Mm -hmm. It's pretty Very cool. cool. Okay, another Tory Birch. Where'd you get this at? Local Goodwill. <laughs> it was. Um, so that's the that's the brand that like the trinket or whatever you call logo, it. The, yeah, the big medallion. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. I actually didn't really know that that was a real Tor Tory Birch when I saw it. It was discarded in a random bin at Goodwill where it, like somebody picked it up and carried it around and then threw it now, back. When you say Goodwill, do you mean the bins? No, no, like a just a regular Goodwill. Like, you know, they have different bins where um, I call them bins. They call them bins too, but they're just, they're like, I don't know how to describe them. They're not shelves. Okay. They have a, it was with like cards and stationery and stuff. Okay. 
tossed it back in there. And, and this has, I mean, this has some wear on it too. Lots of wear on the edges uh -huh, and the handle. It did, mm -hmm. but it was in there and I like looked at it at first and I was like, is this a fake Tory Burch? And I picked it up. And as soon as I picked it up and the heaviness of it, and then yeah. I touched, you touch that leather and I've never had a Tory Burch purse, but when you touch something, you know, it, you can tell the quality yeah. of it. And so, of course, I did more research to make sure because I, I terrified to list something that's not real. So I do all the research. Um, and I'm guessing like the person that had that was probably like, oh, this thing is just old and beat up. Yeah. You know? And it doesn't I say to like, Birch. I don't think it. anywhere on there says it. Maybe on the zipper pull is where it is. Yeah, it's got it on there, but it's really, you have to like, you know, be looking at it with like good eyes. It's just got the medallion. So if you don't know that medallion, you don't know that that's anything. So somebody probably just didn't know what it was when they picked it up and tossed it back, but it was $4. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm talking about the person that like donated it. Oh, I don't know. They're yeah. like, oh, it's, you know, it's all worn out. I thought you part, so was talking about the person that picked it up and discarded it elsewhere in the store. Oh no, uh-uh. No, I don't understand sometimes what how things end up at Goodwill. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, but yeah, yeah sh um, I paid four dollars and then it sold for eighty five. So I listed it for a little more, and then I had several you know likes on it. So I sent out offers to lackers, and the the girl was really cute. She like messaged me after she bought it. And she goes, "I tried so hard to resist and I just couldn't." Oh. <laughs> Well, it's a great color. You know what I mean? Like, and it was, oh, and it was like, in the summer when I sold them. Color. Yep. Awesome. It's okay. Cool. Where'd you get these? I want, these are like, I want to find a pair of these. Um, This was at a Goodwill near Dallas. Um, Again, I find some good stuff when I do happen I to go there. I can't believe that somebody, like these are expensive shoes. Yeah, I couldn't believe they didn't have them marked up. What um, did you get them for? I think they were $6. Well, they probably didn't know. I don't know how they mark up like Stuart Weitzman and like other, I don't know. Yeah, but if you look at those, I mean, they don't look like a high-end shoe. That's true. But so, yeah. so then I had to investigate to see if they're real. So I looked up all the videos on that, you know, um, to make sure. Do make I thought, huh? Do they make fake Rothies? Yes. Yeah. They do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you look at the inside sole, it has that sticker. Okay, well, some of them, it's hard to see in the photo, but some of them are not. That's almost like embedded into the footbed. Like fake ones, I think some of the stickers peel up. Okay. There's, you see the holes in the sole, sole on the black part? Yeah. That, that's a real indication of a real Rothy. Okay. And there's, there's some other ones I, I don't remember off the top of my head because this is the only pair I've picked up. Gotcha. So yeah. So they, take the sole out and look for that dot. That dot and just investigate that um, tag has this got tag. good signs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. There you go, guys. There's some tips. <laughs> I don't know if Rothy's are real because I wouldn't have known that. No. And I took her offer. She offered me that and I slept on it and then I decided... I sold these right when all the things were going crazy. So I thought, I don't know if people are going to be buying. Yeah. <laughs> so I took the offer. I could have maybe got a little bit more, but. 85 is great, it's I think. Good. Yes. But yeah, some of them go for big money for sure. Definitely. I wore okay. them too before I sold them. So. <laughs> what about these? Uh, beta brand. Okay. These I paid $3 at a little, the little thrift shop. They don't mark anything up. Never there. heard of this either. Um, well, I didn't know all it doesn't say beta brand anywhere, but that little um butterfly looking logo on the back. Okay. The I knew I had seen that before, but when you shop so much at the thrift store, you see so many, you can't keep them straight, like what's good and what's not sometimes. So I left and went home. Oh and no. I Fine. I took a picture and the sir, I can't get service in that shop sometimes. So I couldn't really search Google search the image. So I took a picture of the logo and then went home. Two days later, I'm scrolling through Instagram and somebody shares a beta brand and I see the logo and I like die. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> so as soon as I could get back to that thrift store that has horrible hours, it's like 
closes at three o'clock. So it's hard to get to it unless it's a Saturday for me. Um, they still had them a couple of days later. So I grabbed them up for three bucks, but yeah, they're apparently a really good, comfortable shoe. And, um, they have a real rear wear size also a six and a half. Yeah. Yeah. That's a hard size to sell. At least that's been my experience. So I'm guessing you probably would have gotten more for them had they been like an eight or nine or, Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, and they didn't sell super fast, but within a couple of months, maybe. That's still pretty fast. I mean, yeah. they're used shoes, you know? I know. They were and great. They look pretty, like, they look pretty clean. Very, they were. That's but awesome. Yeah. Okay, these crack me up. Tell me about these. <gasps> okay, so I've never heard of these until I found them at my local Goodwill, and they were on the half-off rack. I always go through that. And something about the little metal medallion on the butt and just, they were interesting, but the metal medallion, sometimes you're like, okay, this looks like an expensive logo. (laughs) I'm going to look it up. So I looked it up and I was like, what? Threw them in the car and ran out of the store. So they're butt lifting pants. And um, yeah, so they're like shapewear. (laughs) Yeah, those are weird looking. Apparently they make your behinds look great because, um, yeah, well, if you're like, this, I tried them on like too. So not for me, I felt like a video girl or something trying to wear. It. Like, what? <laughs> I felt like a video girl, like trying to wear those jeans. Like I tried them on, and I was like, no, these are not for me. <laughs> yeah, not your thing. Were they comfortable? Was, they were comfortable, but you could feel that on your rear, and then they were just too tight. Anyways, are they stretchy? They're stretch. Yes, very stretchy, almost jegging like, but thicker. Yeah. I mean, they look kind of different. Yeah. Supposedly they make your rear look good and they lift your, your, your cheeks. Okay. There you have it. So they're called Freddie. Freddie. Mm -hmm. W-R. Yeah. I don't know. I saw down here. It says by A-S-O-S. ASOS. I don't know. That was a long time ago. I don't even remember typing that. I think their jeans are $5. So I paid two fifty because they were half off. So yeah, it was a good sale. They got a lot of uh, attention pretty quick. And I think I got a few offers and this is the one I took because I listed them higher. I've seen some other ones sell higher. So yeah, I've never heard of that. So they've got that really um, obvious waistband in them and definitely the obvious butt. So I'm sure that everybody will remember them if they see them. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. Okay. I've heard about this soft surroundings. I keep seeing this um, brand pop up. Well, I haven't had much luck with other soft surroundings things, but this one was really nice and unique with the, all that embroidery. It's got a kind of Johnny was look to it. So that's probably why it did better. I think it, the other uh, one I saw was just like, it was like a pullover. And I want to say they sold it like between 30 and 50, but it was mm-hmm. just plain. And I was like, what is happening? Like, like, do I need to find this brand? Like, why is this going for so much? I, I think it's only some pieces. Cause like I said, okay. I had, I had a shirt and it sold for like 25. So I, I don't think it's all of it, but this was a really nice long cardigan. Um, and it was hardly used. Like, funny. I don't know if the lady ever wore, it. I picked it up at a garage sale. She sold it to me for $3. I think it was $3. Yes. And then I took an offer. I had it listed higher because I don't think there was any listed. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely. Yes. I think I listed it for like 70, but I was guessing because that had no comps or anything to go. by. Yeah. So it ended up being a nice sale. Yeah. 50 bucks. Yeah. And what's nice about Poshmark is they take 20%, which kind of stinks. Yeah. But, you know, the buyer's paying the shipping and there's no returns. So it makes um, it easy. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to pull up your channel again. Okay. And I'm going to remind everybody to go down below and be sure to check out the description of this video and subscribe. And I'll also post a link to her posh closet and her eBay store. If you guys want to check out what else she's selling, but again, please go down there and subscribe. I cannot talk tonight. Subscribe. (laughs) Um, She is newer to YouTube and she's great. And I want you guys to all go sub.
So <laughs> go to her channel, watch a video and tell her in the comments that Bolo Buddies sent you and that you, or you saw her on Bolo Buddies or something like that. Just let her know how you found her. Cause I always love it when people tell me how they found my channel. So I don't know. You guys can tell me in the comments of this video, how you found my channel. <laughs> That's fun. Hey. All right. Anything else you want to say, Christy? No, just the thank you for the opportunity to come on here. It's been fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing your bolos and helping us all learn. We appreciate it. And yeah. everybody watching, if you made it to the end of the video, comment, I made it to the end of the video. And I'll see you guys real soon at the next bolo video. Have a good night. Bye.